act to the suburbs an hour after, like a rough version of my house. Let's go here first. Not moving an inch, not with my weak arms. The only sport I ever did was running away from everything and everyone. Is there nothing helpful around? Looks like something my father would come up with. Unnecessarily complicated. Fake, again. It's like they assume nobody's going to take a closer look. Okay, so apparently the ones we should we have something to do with later are will be glowing. Like they were still building it all for me, but I've not finished yet. So maybe there is a way out. Hang high up out of reach of children and animals. But we never had a dog. Or did they before I was born? Why did they never tell me? I never understood why bird houses look like human houses. Like, birds should be jealous of us rather than the other way around. It must have been so cold here in this frozen mud. That doesn't smell great. How could Mum sit here for so long? Old wine bottles and dog poo. I don't know what sings more. Garden shears. Rusted and dirty, but still sharp. What's this? A witness report? I can't read the rest. Was Mum happy then? Was she happy being pregnant with me? Or was she already so afraid of everything? Okay, okay, okay. Um, we need this place. Such a weird smell, like ground and dried meat. And Bart House is here. Not broken in two, but sawn in half. I think the map indicates the other part. Okay. Um, wait. Cops? 
in our street, but nothing ever happens here. This dog was the only one here who wasn't meant to me. Mean to me. At least it felt that way. At night I would hear the rattling of the canisters. Okay, I'll admit, this is cool. It reminds me of that horrible movie about snipers. Watching soldier flying in the mud and aiming for two hours straight. Would they still be together? Or, more importantly, would they still be happy together? I see a hole, something round to fit in. This is very dangerous, just left in the middle of the street like this. Did someone place it here on purpose? But why? Looks like a piece of a mirror. Brand new. The price tag's still on it. Hopefully there wasn't a baby in it. Locked. No keyhole. Just these round shapes. This looks dirty, but no signs of a dog. Looks like a toy, but a bit morbid. I recognize this woman. She lives on our street, but where? So many spray cans, but so little creativity. They still have a price tag on them. Wow, that's expensive to just leave behind. Is this the graffiti guy? Looks more like a boy. It's so tragic. I remember when their son died. Look, it needs some round object instead of a key. No? Uh... Their son died, so the grave? We have the pleasure of informing you that your junior science day diorama has been awarded the first prize. We proudly invite you to receive this award. All the same clothes, just different sizes. Seems to have been a lot uh, of poison there. That must have been intense. This type of mess would really upset her. Even leaving my bike not perfectly straight against the wall was enough sometimes. This doesn't look like the work of the police. Too sloppy. It looks like a memorial, memorial of some sort. This is beyond fixing. It's almost uninhabitable. Someone really thought this through. It's like one of those fancy houses using magazines. Almost too perfect to live in. This looks like a sketch for an interior design. Like a drawing come to life. Much like my dad's designs. Do people still do that? Develop photographs. There's some really nice ones though. So we don't know anything about this house. There's a lot of security. Locks on the doors, reinforced glass on the, in the windows. 
Anything to sleep at night, I guess. This crib is for a newborn, but I don't see any diapers anywhere. Maybe there's one on the way. So maybe the pregnant lady and the dog. Even from a distance, this heat is scorching. It looks like there's a big forest behind these trees. But how do I get there? I can't open this with my bare hands. It kind of feels like I saved him. That's some okay. gate, probably meant to intimidate those poor kids. Apparently that kid from house one was a bit of a brainiac. Let's go out here. Some more first. No. This horse filled with black sludge, like filthy snow. Something is rattling around inside. Hmm? Destroy all. Save everyone. Spelled wrong. Clearly the most expensive house in the neighborhood, but I couldn't live here for one second. My dad told me about some neighborhoods all looking the same, except for the mailboxes, that everyone wants to feel a little bit special. Mail from jail? That's a bit creepy. What kind of parents allow this behavior? The whole house has been covered in graffiti. Does that say RIP? It's written so badly it's unreadable. This smells as bad as an open wound. Yeah, right, we won't be destroying all this property. Advertisements for baby stuff. How do shops get this information anyway? We lack one number. Hmm. Can I them take them back? No. I'm a little bit lost. There has to be some place where I can use the hammer.
Arduino, which like this is from house number, uh, I guess B from house four. Got mail from their old jail, so four is nine. Mm, one is one. And number three will be nine. There's still a thing about house number two. Broken. Like someone wanted to destroy their own reflection. Hmm? No, 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 don't take it. I have an idea. Not here. Um. My father must have known these, this, these was another architect on our street, but he never told me. Did she come to take pictures of the burning car, like a paparazzi? That's not the house. This one. A glossy magazine filled with pictures of houses like this one. Maybe this one is actually in here. The crowd is getting hungry. I can't stay here in case it devours me. <laughs> 